Good morning and welcome to the April 19th Business License Liquor Board Regular Meeting. Items listed on the agenda may be taken out of order. Two or more agenda items for consideration may be combined and any item on the agenda may be removed or related discussion may be delayed at any time. I'll go ahead and call the meeting to order. And Ms. McKay, do we have confirmation of posting and roll call? Yes, thank you. The agenda was posted in accordance with open meeting law and all members are present. Thank you. We'll go ahead and open uh, public comment. Public comment during this portion of the agenda must be limited to matters on the agenda for action. Each person has up to five minutes to speak on a specific agenda item. Do we have any members of the public that wish to initiate public comment this morning? Ladies first. Okay. Um. All right, good morning. Can you state your name for the record? Yes, Tara Bertoli. I am the owner of the Boulder City Company store in the historic district. And uh, my business is a 4,200 square foot building in the center of town. And I'm applying for my liquor license because I'm trying to evolve, um, increase revenue, and create um, a place downtown that is open also in the evenings. I close at 3.30 right now uh, because my offerings uh, are limited. I want to increase that for the public. Uh, I'm here to answer questions, and also, I've done a little research, so where do you want to begin? Um, typically, we don't uh, go back and forth in public comment, but um, when we get to the item... Um... This is not a public hearing, um, so this is a... The opportunity is for public comment. So okay. There's no opportunity for a, for a back and forth. Okay. Well, I understand that my NAICS code isn't uh, adequate for my evolving business. If I do get my liquor license from the city, I would have to change my NI NAICS code to the 722210, which is called um, Limited Services Eating Places. And it is it fully in accordance with what I would be doing. I would be serving a single serving beer or wine beverage, and they could eat it or drink it in my store uh, on the patio, and I wouldn't be, uh, I don't know how to explain it. I just, I want to read it to you. It's not the language I'm used to speaking. All right, so this is what it says. Um, the industry compromises establishments primarily engaged in providing food services where patrons generally order or select items and pay before eating. Also, uh, it's for consumption on or near the premises. Food and drinks may be consumed on the premises, taken out or delivered to customers at their location. Some establishments in the industry may provide these food services in combination with selling alcoholic beverages. And that's pretty much exactly what my uh, establishment is set up for since I'm a paper cup and go. I like to serve everything with a disposable cup. That way we don't have to clean any any type of uh, dishes. We don't we aren't set up for that anyway. So I would like the 722210 to be my NAICS code. All I have to do is call my CPA and we make that change, but I don't want to do that unless I get approval that I will be able to serve beer and wine in my in my establishment. So this is a starting point for me, is this meeting. And that's uh, also, I just, in pre it, while I was getting ready for this meeting, I pulled up the small business resource guide because I needed to reference it. And uh, lo and behold, I'm the um, poster child for the entrepreneurial spirit for the city of Boulder City. So I would like you to help me keep being an entrepreneur in this town. All right, that's all I got, really. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
Seeing no other uh, public comment, we'll go ahead and go to the phones uh, to comment during the meeting. Members of the public may call 702-589-9629 to provide comment. Again, the public comment phone line is open. Members of the public may call 702-589-9629. Hearing no further public comment, we'll go ahead and move to the regular agenda. Uh, we'll start with our first item for possible action, the approval of the minutes of the March 17th, 2022 Business License Liquor Board meeting. I would just like to note that you have a new set of minutes in front of you. There were a couple of typos on it. No significant changes. Chair, I'd make a mo motion to approve the minutes as amended on the dais. I'll second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 And I vote aye. The motion passes unanimously. <clears throat> Item number two for possible action, consideration of an application for a Class C service bar license for the Boulder City Company store. Mr. Presswich. All right. Yes, we received an application. Uh, for a Class C service bar license for the Boulder City Company store located at 525 Avenue B, uh, which is currently a gift and souvenir re retail location with a coffee and snack area. Uh, they are looking to serve bottles of beer or wine and disposable cups. Um, in 42-5 the Boulder City Code, a service bar shall permit the preparation of alcoholic liquor drinks for service at tables and restaurants. Uh, but also in the code, in the definitions in 4-2-3, a restaurant is a space in a suitable building kept, used, maintained, advertised, or held out to the public to be a place where meals are served at tables or counters and which has adequate and sanitary kitchen and dining room equipment and capacity and having employed therein a sufficient number and kind of employees to prepare, cook, and serve suitable food for its guests. Uh, Currently, the BC Company store does not meet that uh, definition of a, of a restaurant. Um, the Secretary of State and the SNHD health permit also describes it as a snack and non-alcoholic beverage bar. Uh, also, the service bar license is for all liquor types and is a little too broad for this application, even though they only wish to serve beer and wine. This type of license does allow for all liquor types to be served. Uh, we feel that's a little too broad in this case. Uh, Boulder City Company Store, we feel, does not meet any of the current license clarifications within the Boulder City Code uh, without a code amendment or update. Uh, for these reasons, city staff request that the license board consider denial of, denial of the application for a license at this time. Chair, maybe we have some discussion. Yes. <clears throat> Thank you. Um, on look, in reviewing this license application, um, and I appreciate that the applicant is here and made comment. Um, would happy to be sit down to have would be happy to sit down with the applicant after this meeting. However, I do want to just do a brief explanation uh, for for really the benefit of the public. Um, liquor licenses in general 
um, is a heavily regulated industry. <clears throat> In order for a liquor license to be issued, an applicant has to meet the definition and qualify for a liquor license under the Boulder City Municipal Code in order for a um, applicant to even be eligible. And even if an applicant is eligible and meets all of the criteria under our liquor license code, the liquor license is a privileged license. And that means that um, it can be granted or denied at the discretion of the municipality. So um, it's not a, it's not a, a guarantee. And that's, uh, that's how it's regulated in all jurisdictions. Um, currently, there is not a liquor license available that, that fits uh, what the applicant is seeking uh, to do. Um, this is a, a request for a service bar license, which is for um, service of, of alcoholic beverages at tables in a, in a fully fledged restaurant. Uh, this um, establishment uh, does not meet that definition. Uh, I want to be clear that this is not a, um, it, we definitely appreciate Boulder City Company store. Uh, they're a great business entity. Um, really, you know, um, appreciate their business here. However, the, the uh, application does not meet any, any qualifications uh, for the service bar license. Um, therefore, um, I would make a motion to deny the application. I'll second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 And I vote aye. Three to zero. <clears throat> Item number three, uh, for possible action, approval of a Class A tavern license for Beer Zombies 4 LLC. Mr. Presswich. I uh, received application for uh, Beer Zombies, uh, looking to opening a craft beer bar located at 567 Nevada Way. Uh, also, at that location, there is a Queen's Tacos taco truck, uh, and craft beers and drinks are to be served on the premise. Uh, per 4 to 3 of the Boulder City Liquor Code, taverns are a place where alcoholic liquors are sold at retail by the drink, only for consumption on the premise where sold and not for resale in any form. Uh, the operation of a short order food counter or lunch counter cannot be run in the same building uh, or in conjunction with a tavern. Uh, we do feel Beer Zombies is in its own building separate from the Queen's Tacos food truck. Uh, each location has its own separate lease and will have their own health permit. Uh, at any point, Queen's Tacos could remove the taco truck uh, from the parcel, leaving just the tavern there. Um, also, of 4-2-5 of the code, tavern licenses are limited to one license for each 5,000 persons residing in the city. Uh, and the license board may withhold the issuance of such license in its sole discretion for any reason whatsoever. Uh, on 4-12 of 22, city council determined the population uh, to be over 15,000 and a tavern license would be available. Uh, Location is not within 400 feet of a public school or church and the applicant has had background investigations approved by the Boulder City Police Department. Um, so the city staff respect, respectfully requests that the license board consider approval of the application for a liquor license uh, pending approval of a Boulder City business license and obtaining a Southern Nevada Health District health permit. Thank you. Do we have any discussion? <clears throat> If not, yes. I would entertain a motion. Um, no, I would like to, um, well, I'll, I would make a motion as well, but I do want to uh, just point out, um, you know, I've had conversations with the applicant and appreciate um, them uh, speaking with the city and determining uh, what what is going to be best for the location. I would note um, the tavern license uh, is uh, particular. Um, the definition of tavern does um, require that no other businesses operate in the same building um, with exceptions for um, sale of things like popcorn and jerky and things like that. Um, but the operation of a short order food counter in the same building is prohibited. So I just want to make that clear that uh, the food truck would have to be separate um, from the tavern, which is it is. Um, so just making that clear for the record. 
And then um, I also want to point out the the Class A tavern license uh, does not permit um, uh, alcohol for resale in any form. Um, and so with that, I will make a motion to approve the tavern license um, for Beer Zombies for LLC. I'll second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 And I vote aye. Three to zero. <clears throat> Moving on to item number four for possible action approval of a special event liquor permit for the Bullish City Chamber of Commerce Spring Jamboree. All right, we see the application for a Spring Jamboree, uh, which is held by the Boulder City Chamber of Commerce, uh, which is a Boulder City nonprofit entity. Uh, the annual Spring Jamboree event is to be held on May 7th through May 8th of this year. Uh, and that event will be held here at Wilbur Square and all the other parks here near City Hall. And the proceeds go, proceeds go to benefit funds for high school scholarships and other uh, community fundraising efforts from the Chamber. Uh, this is an annual event in good standing and the applicant meets all the eligibility requirements in the Boulder City Code. And we request that the License Board approve the application for a special event liquor license. Thank you. Do we have any discussion? If not, I would entertain a motion. I'll move to approve special event liquor permit for the Boulder City Chamber of Commerce Spring Jamboree. Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. And I vote aye. Those not in favor, signify. Oh, I apologize. Okay, thank you. Three to zero. We'll move on to item five for possible action approval of a class B1 cocktail lounge limited license for Shack Pack BC LLC doing business as the Chicken Shack. Mr. Presswich. All right, we received an application for the cocktail lounge limited license, uh, Chicken Shack located at 1112 Boulder City Parkway. Uh, Chicken Jack currently holds the B1 license and is applying for a change in ownership uh, and the business license has been approved for that. Uh, operations will remain the same at the location. Uh, they will serve bottles of beer for consumption on premise. Uh, per 4215 of the liquor code licenses, um, our privilege license cannot be transferred, so the new owners are applying for a license uh, to continue the operations as we're already happening there at Chicken Shack. Um, we have received approval from BCPD in regard to the new applicant's background, and the applicant has met the requirements of the Boulder City Code, and the city staff requests that the license board approve the application for a liquor license. Thank you. Do we have any discussion? If not, I would entertain a motion. Move to approve the Class B1 Cocktail Lounge Limited License for Shack Pack BC LLC. I'll second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Motion passes three to zero. Item number six, for possible action approval of a special event gambling permit for C-Spot Runs Bow Wow Bingo event. Mr. Presswich. Yes, so we've received a application for a gambling permit. Uh, the C-Spot Run Incorporated is a qualified nonprofit organization here in Boulder City. Uh, this is for a bingo game and a raffle to be held on June 2nd of this year. Uh, the event is held at Chili Jilly's and would be for adults only. Uh, the event is to raise funds for the dog park to maintain a safe and clean park for the dogs of Boulder City. Uh, the event has happened previously and has been approved in previous years. Uh, the applicant is eligible based on the Boulder City Code and we have uh, received confirmation of registration with the Nevada State Gaming Board uh, for the bingo game. And we request that the license board approve the application for a permit. Thank you. Do we have any discussion? I'll move to approve 
special event gambling permit for C-Spot Runs Bow Wow Bingo event. I'll go ahead and second that. Go ahead and take a vote. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. And I vote aye. The motion passes three to zero. Now item seven, uh, we'll move into our final public comment period. Each person has up to five minutes to speak. Comments made during public comment period of the agenda may be on any subject. All remarks shall be addressed to the board as a whole. And uh, do we have any members of the public that would like to speak in the final comment period? Um, I just wanted to get with Brittany after this so I can um, figure out the steps that I need to take to get my liquor license because all I have to do is call the health department and become a restaurant or something. You know, I'll, I'll do whatever I have to do to, to get it. So I just need to have the groundwork set so you can approve it. So we need to have a talk about that. Thank you. Seeing no other members of the public, we'll go ahead and go to the phones. Um, if you would like to make public comment, please call in 702-589-9629. Again, this public comment period is for any item on the agenda, and you may call 702-589-9629. Hearing no further public comment, uh, the public comment period is now closed. And with no further business, this meeting is adjourned. Thank you.